So I'm still fat. Yeah, there, there wasn't gonna be any big change in like eight days since my last video. So why am I making this video if there's no change at all? There was a change. The goal here was to actually build a routine, to build consistency. But I'm sure you guys are here for the first thing. It's the weigh-in. So you guys can check out the weigh-in. I did lose about two pounds. And here's the video. You can see the comparison in the last eight days. Now, of course, not a huge change, but I'm happy with what there was. Regardless of where I am with my body, it's about building consistency. I wanna keep this for the long term. So these are the three steps that I chose to make myself more consistent. I wanted to build a supplement routine. There are just some things you just can't get as a vegan. I think regularly you should be consuming a few things. Omega-3 fatty acids to balance your omega-3s and 6s. B12 because I don't eat meat. An extra daily multivitamin and vitamin D because I live in the UK and it's really dark here. I take my multivitamin, my vitamin D and my omega-3 every single day and B12 two to three times a week. It's not saying that by taking these vitamins I'm gonna be exceptionally healthy, but it's gonna help my nutrition and health along the way. I make sure I try to get all my nutrition from my daily diet, but sometimes of course you're gonna miss some stuff out. Get out and get moving. Now, I used to work out six to seven days a week. This was back when I was 24. In those six to seven days a week, I used to work out three to four hours a day. I don't think I have the time to do that now. I still wanna stay active and I wanna keep healthy and improve my body day to day. So the only way to do this is to get out and get moving as much as I can. I found time to go running. If I had a busy day, I tried to jump rope or I tried to incorporate long walks into my routine. I did also go to the gym when I had time too. It's about finding time and making time to get your work done. Remember, we can spend 30 minutes watching a Netflix show, or we can spend 30 minutes watching a Netflix show on the bicycle. Make healthier choices. I have a bad habit of snacking. My whole household has a bad habit of snacking, and I don't think I should make that go away. I enjoy snacking, and so does my family. Instead of just trying to get rid of snacking, make healthier choices. Many times when I've tried to lose weight, I've thrown all the snacks out. I've only had clean foods and healthy foods, and that's great. And I think if you have the power to do that, do it. But I don't. I work long hours and I want to enjoy a snack here and there from time to time. Yeah, it's gonna set me back a little bit, but I'm not a professional athlete. I'm an average Joe at the end of the day. And I want to enjoy my life with my family who also enjoy snacking. If you're hungry, instead of grabbing a bag of chips, get some rice cakes. And honestly, I've really been enjoying the salt and vinegar rice cakes. They are amazing. I do enjoy my sweets. I can finish a whole bag of bourbon biscuits in one sitting. I've opted for fruit or a sugar-free drink. And I think by doing these small little things, I've made some change here and there along the way. I've definitely eliminated several hundred calories from my diet every week. It was the holidays, it was Christmas, everything closes down. Trying to exercise when you have the time is going to be better, especially during the holidays, because once you go back to work, you're gonna be overwhelmed with so many things. So I'm trying to get that routine now, so when I go back to work, I can keep consistently doing it on a day-to-day -day basis. Hopefully when I go back to work, I'll be more inclined to work out and keep to a better diet without snacking too heavily. So I'll leave you with this quote. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. Massive goals don't require massive actions. They require consistent actions. Be consistent. Today is January 1st and I have 356 days to get better by 30. See you guys.